How dare you? It is the most important person in the world, according to the World Economic Forum. It is young Greta Thunberg. So we'll see if we can catch a minute of the young lady's time. Greta, how many times did you rehearse Sorry. your arrest at the German coal mine? How many times did you rehearse it? Because it looks staged. Is it true? Okay. How many times did you re rehearse your arrest? Greta, how many times did you film your arrest and why was it staged that way? Greta, considering you've not spent much time in school, how do you know so much about climate change? Greta, maybe you want to talk to a real journalist. Uh, what did you talk to you, you here in uh, Davos? Was it successful? Greta, as a real journalist, is climate change as real your, as your arrest? Greta, how far are you willing to go? You're willing to break the law. Will you renounce violence? Will you renounce violence, Greta? Or do you support Antifa? You've worn an Antifa shirt before. Are you in favor of Antifa? Greta, how did you get here today? What was your climate footprint in traveling here? <laughs> What's your plan while you're here, Greta? Um... Five. What? <laughs> do, do we have a Friday for future demo tomorrow here? Greta, how do you feel about discussing climate change with the uh, delegates here when they nearly all when nearly all of them take private jets. Do you think at least the fact these delegates take private jets is a bad thing against, you know, what you believe in? All of this could be done via Zoom. So surely, surely you should be encouraging all the delegates here, especially the likes of US Special Envoy John Kerry for climate, uh, Special Envoy for climate change. Surely you should be saying to these people, you should be doing this via Zoom with a much smaller carbon footprint, surely? <laughs> Greta, avoid my questions if climate change is a con. Greta, what do you think about Bitcoin? Well, I think that says enough. Greta, energy prices in Europe have never been higher. Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Are you happy that natural gas is so expensive so people can't afford it? Or do you think that's bad? Greta, it's getting quite cold in Davos. When can I expect some global warming? <laughs> Greta, would you say you're a child actor? Are you a child actor or an expert? How would you describe yourself? <laughs> Greta, are there any climate actions planned whilst you're here with all the other activists? Okay. Uh, sure. Um, yeah. I'm sure people are planning things. Greta, are you used to gentler questions, or do you ever talk to people who disagree with you? Greta, who was filming your arrest in Germany? Because it looked like you did that in several takes, didn't you? You were posing with the police. He's answering for you. He's... He's answering for you. He said you had an agency. What, oh, what? I wish I had one. It would be much simpler then. Well, well, who was filming you then? I don't know media. You don't know who was filming you in Germany? He said he knows. He says it was an agency. News agency, you idiot. Do you normally have reporters defending you? Yeah. It's very likely that the German police and RWE fossil fuel company would stage an arrest. Well, how many how many times did you were you arrested because you posed for several times, didn't you? Sure. What is your main message to the people who are at the World Economic Forum? What do you want to what message do you want to portray whilst you're here? Well, of course, it depends on who you are. Some people are more responsible for this crisis than others. Certainly. Careful because here there are cars. How come you never protest Saudi Arabia or Russia? You only protest Western energy. Why have you never criticized Vladimir Putin or OPEC? <laughs> yeah, I have never done that. Never ever. Well, will you do so now? Will you condemn OPEC energy? <laughs> Greta, can you condemn every single delegate that's come here on a private jet? Surely that's something you should condemn. You can do it too. I, well, I, I, you know, I could could do it, but you're the one who really who has such a strong stance against 
climate change. And, you know, if it's true, I, I commend your efforts, but could you condemn them taking private jets to these meetings? Why won't you condemn private jets? Have you, have you ever been on a private jet even once? I own 100 private jets. Well, have you been on how about once? <laughs> have you ever been on a private jet? All the time, yes. I wonder why you won't answer me in a straight answer. Do you have any meetings with any people who are here, any politicians, any high business people as you're here? Uh, depends on how you define that. Well, can you tell us who you're having talks to? No. Why are you having secret meetings? Peter, do, do you think that in Davos, the big companies here are really um, interesting by climate change? Well... I guess all we have to do is see what they do. Let's get back to those private meetings. Why are you having private meetings? Secret meetings. Who are they having secret meetings with? Come on, let other people ask questions. Yes, please. You, 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 believe in, you believe them? It's free speech, isn't it? It is, oh. but come on. Do you <laughs> what are you, hey, what are you doing? When it comes to solving things like climate change and heading in a different direction, do you agree with criminal damage caused by groups such as Just Oil in order to get the climate message across? Do you think it is justified? Are they called Just Oil? That would not be a very good name for... Sorry, Just Stop Oil. Gretchen, this is your opportunity right here. You don't seem to be taking it very seriously. Sorry. Sorry? This is your opportunity to stop and tell us what you care, what you care about and what you're fighting against. You seem to be joining the establishment, not fighting them anymore. <laughs> Are you not one of them? One of who? What, the people on the private jets and the helicopters flying in here to tell us how to live our lives? Yes, because I have many private jets of my own, yes. It's okay. I want to move here. The point being, you have to condemn all of them equally, otherwise it's hypocrisy, right? No? I don't see how that's funny. I don't take anything seriously, so just... I laugh all the time, so don't take it personally. Okay. <laughs> Greta, where did you learn everything you know about things like climate change? Where, where did you learn all that? Yeah, that's a good question. I wish I knew. <laughs> so if you wish you knew, how do you know so much? Surely if you know so much, you would know where you learned all this from, surely? Who has said that I know so much? <laughs> well, because you are deemed as an expert worldwide when it comes to climate change. You speak on, on global stages when it comes to climate change. And ultimately, some of the things you say lead global policy. If that was the case, then the world would look completely different, I assure you. What would you like to do to make the world look completely different? That's a fair question, surely? First, I would like to eat lunch, maybe. <laughs> Are you going to be eating bugs to save the planet for this lunch? I think I'm going to take... I'll see. <laughs> Greta, do you make an opportunity to listen to different voices and opinions that differ from your own? Do you try and take challenge on board when it comes to climate? Sure. If you want to end fossil fuels, how did you get to Davos today? I came yesterday. I didn't come today. How did you travel here? Uh, several trains. Several trains or planes? I took a private jet, of course. You took a private jet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you laugh about this, but surely if it's such a big issue, it's surely no laughing matter. I mean, this is an opportunity for you to try and get people who don't agree with your message to try and see it from your side of the side of the view and to maybe change their ways, surely? Yeah, I wish I could tell that to me myself sometimes to take things more seriously, but you know, I'm just a young person. I, I, I tend to laugh at most things. Do you regret encouraging young people to miss school? No. Does anyone have any idea where we are? No. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> tell us where you want to go and I can tell you where it's just like yeah who operates your Twitter account for you who operates your Twitter account oh that's me that's why why it's so bad I hate are you the only one who does it or do other people help you yeah. unfortunately I'm the only one so no one else works <laughs> and all your social media do you write it or does a PR agency write it 
It would be much easier if I had a PR agent that would write everything, to be honest. I think you laugh when you're nervous, is that right? Then I would be nervous all the time. <laughs> Greta, how do you deal with all, the, all of this? All people caring about what you have to say, listening to what you have to say. Pretty, pretty, good, pretty big voice. How do you deal with all of that pressure? Uh, I don't know, it's a bit weird that people seem to care what I think about things so much. But you love it, don't you? You always put yourself out in the public. So you're not a private person, you love it. You're a celebrity. Are you a celebrity or a child actor? How would you describe yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you count as your chief advisors? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shell, Exxon, yeah. It's quite something that the media are answering the questions for you. That's amazing. We're well, just joking. The same questions again and again. You're asking the same questions and we get bored. You know? Yeah. Not only me, I guess. Greta, who would you say is the biggest threat to climate change, whether that's one person, an organisation, or a country? Me. And why would you say you're the biggest threat to climate change? <laughs> Well, to the world going in a disastrous trajectory towards the world being damaged through climate change. Who do you think is the worst culprit? Me. Why you? Is it your hundreds of private jets? Yes. Where do you stand on China and their climate carbon footprint? Yeah, as a climate activist, of course, you love when people emit carbon dioxide. Yeah, that's really our thing. I mean, Greg, you're not taking this very seriously. This seems to be a big issue to you, unless it's just simply a job, in which case, line your pockets with lots of money. Surely you'd want to actually have an adult opinion on the likes of China, surely? I have opinions about lots of things, yes. <laughs> Could you share your opinion on China with us? Obviously, I love it when people emit carbon dioxide. Every time a Western government implements a net zero policy, it's common folk that are suffering, especially in a cost of living crisis. Do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, it's horrible that people are being affected by, by different things like some of the climate crisis and so on. People are being displaced and losing their lives. It's horrible. But they can't afford to eat or heat their homes because yeah. of the net zero policies. Yeah, that's definitely why we are experiencing the cost of living crisis, yes. I agree, thank you. <laughs> You've been here before, you've had a big speech that made a proper impact. Do you think it did anything? Did it did anything change? Well, we can we can only see where we are now. The global emissions of greenhouse gases are still increasing. But we are a movement that is growing. We are in movement, yes. <laughs> but is the movement not turning people off, away from your cause? Sorry? Is the movement not turning people away from your cause? The tactics that are being employed? Do you agree with all the radical tactics people are taking in, in your name? I think the only one taking action in my name is me, I hope. But you are the leader of this movement. I hope not. Therefore, would you condemn people taking radical action and prefer demo democracy instead? Sorry? Would you encourage people to take democratic action rather than radical action? The protest is to take democratic action. Greta, can you condemn everyone who has caused criminal damage in terms of to try and get the point across to fight climate change? I left because there wasn't many people in there. Are you Russia and China are building more coal-fired power stations. Why should those of us in the West suffer because of net zero when they are not doing their part? Greta, you once stood on a, sh on a stage and said, how dare you passionately and emotionally because people weren't doing enough. And now you don't seem to be taking it seriously. Why, why the sudden change? I don't know. Wait, if you could say one thing to people who oppose you to convince them, what would that be? Sorry, we're. If you say one thing to people who oppose you to convince them of your argument, what would it be? I wouldn't say anything. 
But surely if you cared about climate change that much, you would surely say something to try and get them to want to do something else about the way we are going in terms of climate change. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, this has been a pleasure. Uh, we're going to leave now. We would appreciate if you didn't follow. Thank you. Thanks, Greta. Thank you. Well, there you have it, Greta Thunberg, walking and talking for quite a while with several rebel news journalists and several mainstream media journalists who sometimes even answered questions for her. They knew the script so well. I, I think the thing I was struck by, and, and come come here, fin there's a journalist saying we were just correcting you, dude, that tells you about the kind of media that are normally covering Davos. They're narrative enforcers, they're conformists, and they don't ask skeptical questions. But in the case of Greta Thunberg, what was so striking was, as my colleague Callum Smiles pointed out, this is the young woman who stood at the United Nations and said, how dare you, how dare you, and mustered her fury. But when she was asked question after question, and I mean legitimate good faith questions, she giggled, she laughed, and in some cases she said absurd things like, I have a hundred private jets, or I like coal. And none of it made sense to me other than my realization of who she is, where she's from, what her parents are like, and that she really is a child actor. I think we just learned everything there was to learn about Greta, and, it's, and I'm so glad we caught it because we were waiting about two hours in the bloody cold for that. So thank you, Callum. Thanks to our hardy cameramen who are freezing, uh, Benji, Great work. Thank you very much, Ed, for being right on the spot. And what a pleasure to have Calvin with us to bring another point of view. Calvin, a very thoughtful uh, presenter at GB News. What a pleasure to have him here. Another very interesting day here at Davos. And it pays off to wait for these VVIPs. Last point. You'll remember there was an enormous crowd out front. There was probably 50 people at the height. And Greta was simply taking her time to come out. I have not seen 50 people muster for John Kerry, the uh, former Secretary of State. I have not seen 50 people muster for Tony Blair, the former British PM. Greta is their prophet, and she has been insulated from scrutiny. Well, we're called Rebel News for a reason, because we ask questions that other people don't like. Callum, congratulations. Calvin and the rest of our team, another great day at Davos to see all our footage from all our different interviews and all our different scrums, go to wefreports.com. If you think this kind of journalism that you've just watched is unique and valuable, and I think it is, please chip in a little bit to our crowdfunding. We brought a crew of seven people with us from Australia, Canada, and the UK. We flew economy class all the way, but if you can help us cover those costs, you can do that at wefreports.com. Thanks very much, and we still got two days of action, so keep coming back.